What's up, Ghost Riders? Today we're going to be unboxing the RGB 8 game from our good friends over at Oxbeam. They sent us this amazing switch panel. It's, as you can see, is their XL series. Let's open it up. First things first, we got the Oxbeam manual, which will help us step by step how to set it up. Then we got the switch panel stickers, which we'll be getting into later. As you can tell, first things first, we can see it's the switch panel, which sounds like it's aluminum and it's really heavy duty, which is really good for, since we go off-roading. And I doubt any water will be getting in through this because it looks like it's really enclosed very well. And then we got the controller, which will be mounting everything to our lights our whips we got the negative and the positive wires which will be connecting to the bus bar we got some zip ties they want to come out already we got some zip ties so everything can stay flush and nice and neat and we got the cable that's going to go connected to this controller to that controller as well and yeah, we'll be showing you guys how to install it. Stay tuned and we'll keep you guys updated. First things first, you're gonna remove the seat, which we've showed you guys on the past. And we're gonna remove this panel. So we can have access to the bus bar. Now that we have the seat and the panels off and have access to the battery also, since we don't know where we're gonna connect our circuit box to, we have to keep in mind that it has to be close to the bus bar or the battery due to the fact that the negative and the positive wire don't have enough length to play with. So we have to think about either we're gonna connect it to the battery or we're gonna run it close by to the bus bar, but we have to find where. So we have to keep that in mind. So I'll be running the circuit box through the bus bar from our negative and our positive, and I'm gonna bring it right here. And I feel like we're gonna have the circle control box right here, and I'll just have to buy some enclosures to enclose both sides so the circuit control box can sit right here and I can have faster access than every time removing my seat. So we now open the circuit breaker and we saw that there's a negative and there's somewhere so you can connect your positive. So I'm gonna get my positive red long wire and I'm gonna connect it to here and then it's gonna go to my circuit breaker and then my small red wire it's gonna go to the circuit breaker and then the ending will go connected to the bus bar and then for my negative my negative is easy my negative will just go connected right here straight to the negative of the bus bar which you can tell where it's at so how i was mentioning the, the positive goes right here and the negative goes right here i used the positive long wire and then i connected it to the circuit breaker and the little one goes connected right there which will go connected right there right now and then the same thing with the negative the negative was just one solid one and you just connect it all solo so it could go to the negative on the bus bar as well next we're going to grab our accessory wire and then this will go connected to this one and then the end of this one will go connected to the accessory on the bus bar which will only run when it's on with the key of the cannon. So now we have the accessory, the red and the black on. Then we're gonna grab our switch panel cable and we're gonna run it through the bottom and we're gonna connect the wire right here in its output. So it should be looking like this. You got your accessory, your panel cord, your red and your black so far. And we have them all right here. We haven't connected that. So now that I have all my wires right here already ran, I'm gonna be putting my circuit panel right here and drilling it right here. So it could be right there till I order my covers. So now I've mounted it with the bracket. And as you could tell, there's some extra space in the back so we could run the wires to the bottom and run this one to the top. So now I'm gonna grab the circuit breakers case and I'm gonna add it to it. So this case is so nothing else will get into it such as water or extra dust and it won't rattle or hit anything. 
and this is how it looks with it on it nice and tight really good great protector now I just continued running my wires through under that panel and then I just continued bringing them so I could get them to the bus bar. Keep in mind, these wires will not be showing. There will be a cover right here covering each side so we'll, we won't be able to see it. So since we'll be adding our accessory cable to our bus bar as well, I will be adding a spade terminal to the cable so it will fit just right inside the bus bar. Now since it has a terminal, all three are ready to go onto the bus bar. So I just finished running all three to the bus bar, the accessory, the positive and the negative. So that means we won't be running anything right here no more. Everything will be ran right here. From now on, we will be adding our pod lights and our front 10 inch light bar to this and show you guys how it works. Now we just have to run the, before we finish running the switch panel cable, which is that one we're gonna make sure everything gets zip tied up perfect and everything looks nice and neat it looks ugly right here due to the rocker switches which means we won't be running no more rocker switches so less cables and less wiring i believe so now i ran the wire for the switch panel to the top you make sure you have enough clearance so you can still rotate the steering wheel and I brought it through there, to the top. It's gonna come out through the top right here. It's gonna sit right here with the bracket like this, facing the driver. Now with the screws that they gave you, we're gonna mount up this bracket to the switch panel. So now I've mounted the bracket and I've chose to put it right at me. So it's gonna face right at me and it's on there really good. So now that I ran the wire really good, I just turn on the Canam and it's installed pretty good right there, all mounted. No. Perfect. Now that I added the bracket, I added my negative and my positives of my bar and my two pod lights. And I'll show you guys how they work with the switch panel controller. Also, I forgot to mention that in the back of the case, there's extra fuses just in case one burns. In case of an emergency when you're off-roading, you have it right there ready to go. So, so far I only have my light bar and my light pods on here. So, let's just go show you guys. Right here on the menu, it shows that it has three steps. It has a toggle, a momentary, and a pulse, which we'll be trying. It says click right here twice. And that's their momentary. We're gonna do it to that one too. And those only work when you push the button. That only, the light will just stay on when you push the button. And let's try the green one, which they call toggle. Oh, that one's pretty cool. I really like that one, which I'll be using a lot off-roading. These are also aux beam pods. I'll be leaving the link down below for these pods. And I'll be leaving a link down below for this. They're on sale right now, go check them out. So if you hold this one and the on and off, you can change the colors. You don't need to program the remote or the Bluetooth. You could change it from right here. It has a lot of different colors what I, which I really enjoy, which I'll be using multiple of these in the nights when we're riding. They have, and they're super bright. I can tell you that high quality.